America, you're pissed. We have had cops killing black folks for decades, centuries really. And this is the first time that the majority of America actually realizes that it's wrong. First time ever. And right now, America, I'm gonna to explain to you where a lot of this energy comes from because it doesn't come from where you think it does. Because more people than I've ever seen before are protesting, taking up arms, rioting, doing stuff because of this injustice. The man was on the ground in handcuffs and this officer had his knee on his neck. That was uncalled for. He should be charged with first degree murder versus third degree murder. I want to explain a few things in this video of what's about to go down. Right now, you got people across the country who are outside of their houses, protesting, rioting, having meetups, but have you noticed that the fear of the coronavirus has gone away? A few weeks ago, these people were afraid to step out their house. They were afraid to go to the grocery store, but I'm pissed. Let's go out here and riot. Let's go out here and protest. Part of this, this thing that has happened is people, let, let me pull it this way. The facade of the strong American economy has come off. And people right now are sitting down, they're starting to think, because like I said in another video, the hostile uh, American economy after the pandemic, many of these folk, many of these companies have found out that we can, we can make it without you. We ain't gonna hire you back. We can make it without you and make the same money and make more money. And a lot of people are starting to realize what is coming right now. You have people who are on unemployment right now, you know, they're getting this additional 600 per week. And this has kind of stabilized a lot of people. And there are many people who have not gotten this money, but see this anger, the American anger, it's just gotten started because I want you to understand this thing that went down with George Floyd, the tragic murder of George Floyd, has been happening for centuries. And America has not taken attention like this. And honestly, I don't even think a lot of this is about George Floyd or the, un, the senseless killing of black men. I don't think it is. I think it is this seething anger that the American lifestyle has changed. Living in America has fundamentally changed for the foreseeable future. And people, cause I, I'm like, people were just like, it, it didn't take much to get them out their houses. It didn't, it didn't take much to get them activated. It didn't get them. It didn't take much because this anger right now, one of the biggest things I see on Facebook is you are stupid for wearing the mask. I see many people put these conversations up there, like, you know, put your mask on, take some spray paint, spray it on the mask, those black sp specks that are coming out your nose. See that mask didn't help you. I I'm seeing that that is part of the anger that I lost my job, that I'm in a situation where things are not good. My employer has lied to me. The government has lied to me. People have let me down. I'm pissed. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. You're going to start to see some crazy stuff because first of all, people got out their houses to protest at these lockdowns. They were showing up to the Capitol with AR 16s. And now, cause see, one of the things is people actually have time to sit and reflect. They have time to think about stuff. They have time to go over things. They have, they have time to actually ponder some stuff. And this is why there are so many people who thought what happened to George Floyd was senseless because I'm just sitting there and I watched the video. I'm like, why do you have your knee on his neck and he's in handcuffs? That makes no sense. And why are y'all all walking around like this? But you know, at the end of the day, that's another conversation. What I'm here today to talk about is this seething rage, this seething anger, because of many Americans, 
Check out my video, the American caste system. A lot of people are realizing that they're about to be recasted, that their former lifestyle is toast. People are starting to wake up. People are starting to pay attention. People are starting to, hmm, hmm, this is messed up. People waking up. One of the things that I find to be so interesting is where people's attention is, where their attention is, that's where their money is. And on these mask conversations, because there, there's some anger, it's like, how dare you wear a mask? I remember I had to go to Costco to pick up some stuff and Costco wasn't letting you in without a mask. They were like, if you have a mask, I'm gonna give you one. And this dude was indignant. He was, I don't wanna wear a mask. Well, you ain't getting in. How dare you tell me I'm an American. I'm free. I do what I want. Not so anymore. Many people are beginning to realize the onset of martial law. Yeah, many people are beginning to realize right now there's a dude in North Carolina who's getting ready to sue the city, the citizen because the police raided his gym, shut everyone, shut, kicked everyone out and shut him down. You're getting ready to see a lot of people like my rights are being trampled upon. Many people are beginning to realize they're not as free as they thought they were. And it, it is a very unsettling, unsettling thought. Black folks for a long time knew the system was against black folks as a category. Now, this is where it gets interesting. That same system that has been against black folks is now starting to address the white population. And they angry, they pissed off because they're being treated like black folks. This is why for the first time during these protests, I've seen just as many white people as black folks at the protest who are standing up at this injustice, who are going off because they're starting to realize we're all in the same boat. We're all in the same ship. We all have the same choices or lack of choices. This is very, very fascinating to me because this is just the first step of the bang. See, George Floyd was a, a fuse. George Floyd, it was just a fuse and then bang. How many more fuses are out there? I want you to think of the lawsuits that are coming. Right now, many states are lifting the eviction moratoriums. A lot of people, remember the American caste system, they're about to shift down. Van life's about to explode. You are about to see some crazy stuff happen. You are about to wit bear witness to true American patriots being in the streets. It's you, you about to see some stuff that you have never seen before because America is pissed. America has reached a boiling point because I guarantee you without the pandemic, the response that you're seeing would have not happened because America would have been too busy. They've been too busy living their lives, working their jobs, doing what they're doing. But because America had to, this is part of the global reset. And I don't think the powers that be counted on this reaction. They did not count on the people standing up and saying, this is wrong. This needs to be addressed. All four of those cops need to be put on trial and they should be charged with murder. The powers that be didn't see that coming. The people in Minneapolis are setting the blueprint there are more of us than there are of them. Essentially, the people in Minneapolis have the police terrified. They are up, the, the police were MIA. 
the police to serve and protect. They disappeared because there were more of us than there of them. And this is just the beginning. As we go, like right now, you're seeing all of this protest coverage in the coronavirus is still out there. The coronavirus is still lurking. It's still doing this thing. It's still infecting people. It's still getting people sick. That hasn't changed. But the conversation has changed. People are not talking about it the way that they did before. It is very, very interesting how this thing is going on. Because what I see is that you know, there's there's anger and then people are going to calm down and they're going to start addressing the, the real problem that you're not as free as you thought you were. I have this saying, the only rights that you have are the rights that you can personally enforce. If you cannot personally enforce these rights, they, they're not rights. You're told that you have rights. But if you cannot personally enforce these rights, you don't have any rights. And many people are starting to find that out. Many people are beginning to see that. Many, many, many people are beginning to recognize. And what this is going to usher in a wave of people becoming reliant on self. Because at the end of the day, that's the only person that you can trust who's going to enforce your rights. You. That's just you. And right now, we're going to see some stuff. Because with the temperature of America being white hot there's rage because some of the people who are out there protesting protesting for george floyd and the other victims of the police they don't even understand why they're out there they just i'm mad i need something to do this looks good i'm gonna do it there, there are many of those folks out there because they've been cooped up in their home for two months restricted access res restricted freedoms no money, government promises that aren't coming through. Like I said in the live stream not too long ago, I don't think there's gonna be a second check. I am almost com confirmed there will not be a second check. It is almost baked in because the, they, what, what did they do? They went on vacation. They went on recess. Well, we, we come back, we'll handle that later. This is another reason people are pissed with these government stimulus check videos and these updates from all of these YouTubers and these Facebook groups. People realize, wait a minute, I'm suffering. Where is my government in my time of need? Where did they go? They went on recess. We got problems. Right now, we're looking at 10 to 15 small businesses closing their doors forever and see that that's just part of the problem what has happened in corporate America is that many of these companies realize that they can make money without you so the the skeleton crew it's gonna be a skeleton crew it's gonna be less people even these companies that are making gobs and gobs of money, they're not going to hire you back. You're going to get a letter. You're going to get an email. Hey, Joe, um, you know, due to the coronavirus and then blah, 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 blah. We're letting you go. Here's your package. You ain't getting your job back, Joe. So you're going to have all these small businesses closing and then you're going to have these large corporate layoffs and then you're going to have these bankruptcies. It is going to be economic hell for a minute, for a few years. This ain't going to be no V-shaped recovery. And on that, I want you to look at what happened to Sweden. Sweden did not lock down. And Sweden is about to experience a recession. And they never locked down. For all you V-shaped recovery people. Sweden never locked down and Sweden is about to suffer a recession because of the coronavirus. They never locked down. You should take that information and use it to deduce. There will not be a V-shaped recovery as much as you hope and beg and plead and hope and wish and close your eyes and click your heels together three times like little children. 
because you are not adults because you don't want to face the reality because you scared little bitches. Yeah, I said that. Because anyone that's talking about this V-shaped recovery stuff has not done the economic research. It ain't going to happen. But you keep saying this because you don't want to face reality like a child. But America is starting to face reality. America is starting to face reality like it has never faced reality. Because many folks, like you see in these Minneapolis riots, you see a lot of white folks out there looting, throwing Molotov cocktails because they're pissed off because their way of life is fundamentally changed and they don't know how to come to terms with this. They don't understand that, you know, th this is what's funny for you V-shaped recovery people. Study China's economy. China is more poised for a V-shaped recovery than the United States. You know why? Because they make stuff. Did you know that GM sells more cars in China than they do here in America? Because they have a bigger population. They have a manufacturing base. China it has become what we used to be before the smart MBAs decided to ship off all of the American jobs to China, Japan, Thailand, Vietnam. What we did in the 70s is coming home to roost today. People, your GDP is what you make, your wealth is what you make. We don't make what we used to make. And people are starting to wake up and realize this. People are starting to like, whoa, my God. What have we done? My daddy was able to get a job and my mama was able to stay home and my dad sent me to college. He did that on one job. Well, see, your daddy paid less taxes and your daddy had something called a pension. He didn't have a 401k. He had a pension. Many Americans are slowly beginning to realize that they were bamboozled, hoodwinked, led astray. It's starting to penetrate. And this is why you have American anger like you've never seen before. In some ways, this is good. You're going to have white people and black people join together arms in arms and they're going to protest together because they finally understand that they're in the same boat. See, for a long, long, long time, white folks were like, ah, that's just for you black folks. It ain't happening to me. Oops. It's now happening to you. It is now your purview. It is now your destiny. What these lockdowns revealed to white people where they were not as free as they thought they were. They were like, ah, I'm white, I'm free, I'm white, I'm free. Psych! No, you're not. And you have started to see because of policies that have been in place for decades that black judges and black police officers are starting to check white folks and they're like, wait, 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 wait. Remember the salon owner in Dallas that went to jail for opening up her salon? It was a black judge that put her in jail. This dude in North Carolina, it was a black police chief that checked him and closed him down. They ain't real happy about that. It ain't supposed to be happening. About the Constitution. About my personal freedoms. Really? You don't feel so free, America. Because you're not. You're indoctrinated in this American system. Just like everyone else. And now you are beginning to realize it. You're beginning to understand you're beginning to get it because as we go forward through this thing, we're going to see damage, carnage, and more American anger. It's going to, all it's going to take, because see, the fuse, like George, George Floyd was the fuse. It's just a fuse. It's not going to take much because the anger is still, 
It's like you, you ever been so mad and then you kind of calm down a little bit, then something else happens, then you you white hot again, you pissed off again. You're like, what? What are these folks doing? What's going on? That's messed up. This is where America is. And the anger is going to be durable. This is not going to be something that's going to dissipate overnight. It's not. Right now, you've got people on YouTube who are selling all their stocks because they just like, well, unemployment, this, this, this makes no sense. People are waking up to the facade. And this is something else that's going to contribute to American anger. The Fed is beginning to start loaning money to middle businesses, which means small businesses, you're screwed. You can't, this, this money ain't for you. This is for the middle businesses. This is for the businesses that are still in business that we're going to make it whether they got a loan or not. I want you to understand that. Ask yourself, why has America allowed 10 to 15 small businesses to perish? You think this was an accident? You think that this just happened? America? You, you think it just happened for about the last three years. I've been talking about the weak American economy and has been propped up by the stock market and it's been propped up by gig workers and literally America shut down for two months and the economic damage that has happened in two months is going to last for decades. If America was as strong as you were led to believe, as you were lied to, as you were bamboozled, you were hoodwinked, you were led astray, this wouldn't be happening. Oh, we shut down for two months. Okay, I'm gonna chill out with my wife, my kids, because we got a savings account. See, America, you've been instructed wrong for decades. They took out home economics out of the school. You know what you used to learn in home economics? You used to learn how to balance a checkbook. Home ex gone. They took out the gym out of the schools. You know what happened when you went to gym? You worked out, you got that stress, you released. They got rid of that. They got rid of two valuable things that used to be part of American education. Right now, you're gonna to have to begin to forge a new way of living. You're going to have to begin to address the burglar in your house. Oh yes, America, the great reckoning has come. Right now, there are many of you out there who have been laid off for two months and you have not been able to file for your unemployment. You're pissed off. It's like, I, I've been laid off. They let me go. I'm supposed to be, but I can't get through. Let me tell you what's about to happen. First thing is, even though the states are opening up America, the layoffs will continue. And many of you will not get your jobs back and many of you will go to permanent laid off status and many of you are going to have a very hard time finding another job. And see, you are already pissed off, America. This ain't going to help because you like I, I, I feel my I fulfilled my part of the contract. I showed up. I did what I need to do. Why am I going through this? See, America, you're going to feel like I felt many, many years ago. And it's going to be a quiet rage and a large percentage of you are going to start doing the right things. You're going to start saving money. You're going to start building businesses. You're going to start being politically active at the local level because that really counts. In America, you are fully aware. You've been ejected out the matrix. You took the red pill. America, you, you took the red pill and now your eyes are wide open. So congratulations, America, for waking up because this party has just got started. 
it's just it, we're just at the beginning. Dig in and prepare for a few years of this because the coronavirus, even though the media isn't really talking about it anymore, it hasn't gone away and people are going to get sick. Infection rates are going to continue to skyrocket. We're just going to weather it. I fully expect to see people in college football, NFL stadiums with masks on. We're just going to work our way through this. We're just going to start working together to build, to create, to redefine America. Because this carnage that has gone through the American economy, because if you look around the world, you will see that the UK, Germany, they all have less unemployment than we do because their governments protected the people. Our governments left our asses out in the wind. Ask yourself why the wealthiest country in the planet, yet you, the citizens of the wealthiest country of America, are left to languish, suffer, and catch it. Ask yourself why. This is the global reset, baby. We can't have two Americas on this planet. This America has been fat, fine, and fancy for decades. And now it has been reset. So one of the things that you're gonna to have to do is get it in your head, America, that a job is not gonna protect you. These jobs, not like for your daddy, these jobs are not for life, man. America, get ready, dig in. And I'm gonna tell you something, keep your anger. Stay mad, don't calm down. Cause see, as long as you are mad, your eyes will be wide open. You'll be able to see things the way they really are versus the way that you've been led to believe that they are. So stay mad, be hungry, be angry, and this will serve you well. Many, many years ago, I was where you were, and I got mad. I didn't get mad like tear up and loot and stuff. I got, I got a quiet rage. And I remember when that guy told me, we gotta let you go. And I was like, you know, I could probably get you another two weeks. I said, no, I'll go home and figure it out. At that moment, I begin to think. I begin to act. I begin to see what was real. Like you are, America. I woke up. Like you're waking up. So. If you made it this far, what I want you to do is go below, get 30 days to 2,500 in the Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success audiobook. Because you're going to need these tools. Don't get them because they're free. Get them and use them and do them and join the Facebook group and start to network and talk with like-minded people. I know it's scary starting your own business, being in control of your own destiny. I get that. But America, I have faith in you. I think you can do it. Just like I did it. I think you can do it. So with that, there's another video right here. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out.